Hi Stampin' Addicts, Irene Thompson. Hope everyone's doing well today. I wanted to uh, take the time and share with you my favorite tools that I use when I'm making my cards. And for somebody that does ha has no idea where to start with how to make or what to get to make their own cards, greeting cards, well, this is my everyday arsenal I use. I mean, every day I use all of this. Maybe not the piercing tool, but depending on what you use and what you don't use. But everything else, every day I use a block to stamp every day. I use the Stampin' Mist and the scrubber every day to clean my stamps with. I use this snail adhesive to attach everything together. I use this uh, paper cutter with a scoring tool, a bone folder, a piercing tool, and a pair of scissors. So let me explain to you what I use all these for. Because you may not know. And you don't know until somebody tells you. All right, so there's a scoring. It has a scoring and a cutting blade. It's size, um, it goes from size 12 to 14 and um, a half. So it will cut 12 by 12 sheets of paper. Um, the main base of it is six and a fourth by 12. So as you can see, it's very versatile. It also has some components, com compartments back here to store your extra blades and scoring tool. And for me, how I use this, I normally am making stuff for uh, workshops, and when I cut a base, I always score it so I'm using both tools at the same time, and they're on the same, you know, they're on the same spot. So I always take it and put it at four and a fourth, and this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet, and I'll score it, and then I turn it to five and a half. And then I cut it. And I just did them both with the same tool. So no two separate tools, which is great. So there are my card bases. And then, then my card bases are done. Well, we have these scoring tools, bone folder, that helps the score lines, which gives you a nice crisp edge. So when you fold it, you know, you think it's not good enough when you do it with your fingers, so you do it with the bone folder and it gives it a much better edge. So you see how it's down flat now? That's what a bold is for, is to flatten it all down. So it gives it a nice edge, so it's not breaking. So that's the purpose of that, and I use it all the time. And then we have the Stampin' Scrubbers. This is a scrubber, and this is the mister. The scrubber has a wet on one side and then an, a picture of the sun. So, so what you're basically doing is taking your stamp and you missed it because you need to have clean stamps. You don't want any of this color getting onto your next project. So you clean it and there you go. All clean. Ready for next use. And then I normally just take my block and rub it off a little more, and it cleans my block too. So that's one of the purposes of the stamp and scrub to keep your stamps clean so when you change colors on them, they don't bleed into the next project. Okay, and then we have our tape it's a double sided adhesive tape. Here's a scrap piece of paper, and it's both sides. It has this little edge. It's called snail. You just run it down, just like those t those uh, those. Uh, see, I mean, it sticks right to it. It just tore it all apart. So it's good snail. That's actually a really cute effect, and it just goes right down. 
what is it those um what 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 oh those new um remember the liquid uh the liquid uh that fixes mistake the correcting the liquid correcting stuff well they have that in a tape runner now too that fixes stuff so I mean this is really good tape it sticks down nicely so this is snail which you need to assemble your projects with and then the block the block is what you need to put all of your stamps on because you can get a stamp set now with wood or without wood mount and this is a polymer stamp so this polymer stamp is clear and then we ha and the whole thing is clear everything is clear and this is a polymer stamp set then we have a rubber stamp which is this so it's a different color and this we have these new cling stamps so it just clings right to it I mean it doesn't fall off or nothing which is really cool and if we were going to stamp with those we would stamp stamp well, what do you know? We need to clean it because we do not want that image going on to other things. I mean, even though the detail in it is gorgeous and you'd love to leave your stamp looking like that, but you got to clean it off. And then this side says wet. This one says it's got this little um, droplets of water and this has a picture of the sun. You just squirt it on move it around see how it came off and then we've been taking it over here and we're drying it and there we go and I normally like to rub my block too clean my block so that is the rubber and then we have the polymer which is the clear one Stamp that down. Sometimes when I stamp, I like to like wiggle it a little, little bit, but everybody has their own thing. So there's the polymer. And we gotta clean that. Spray it. Circle it and then dry it. And there we go. Ready for the next time you use it or stamp with another color. So this is stuff that I have in my everyday I use every day. I mean, they're literally situated around my workspace. So there's the polymer and the rubber stamp. And we do have these new cling stamps. They just attach to the block better. So, which is wonderful. So we love that. And then, you know, the bone folder. We know how that works. Now there's your block, which is very necessary. We have them in all different sizes, and they come with the case. So you can buy, you know, one at a time, and then get your case, because our stamps do come in all different sizes. And if you look in our catalog, and you see the, um, the stamp set, for instance, here's our catalog. It'll tell you if it's a wood block or a clear block, and it suggests a clear block. And when the clear blocks that you can use for the stamp set is block A, B, C, and G for the stamp set. And this one, the blocks is referred A and E for this set. So they all have suggestions on the one, the block you need. And this one is C and E, so they're all different sizes. And these are all of our blocks. And you don't have to, you know, buy them all at the same time. You can just get one at a time. And they have these edges on them, so they're nice to grab on. So you don't feel like your fingers are falling into or onto the paper. 
so that's nice. It's got a nice grip, grip action, so we like that. Let's see what else. We got our snail. Oh, we got our scissors. We have these scissors. It's always nice to have a small pair of scissors because we're always cutting. If you're making like uh, bags or boxes or you like to craft in that way, which I like to too. Matter of fact, I just made this really cute bag this morning. Which is this. It's so adorable. It actually holds, um, it holds cards, so I mean, you need scissors, and small scissors work nice to cut. And then a piercing tool. There's also a piercing mat, so when you're piercing things, so that's what I used here. I used the piercing tool to put holes so I can put these, uh, put these, uh, these brads on. So, and I used it to poke right through, and then the brad fit right on in. So that's what a piercing tool is good for, so you're not poking and tearing up everything. And it's also good for picking up, we have these glue dots that comes in paper pumpkin. It's really good for picking up glue dots. It is wonderful for picking up um, um, like little elements. Uh, it's too big. But it'll still pick it up. Like your your jewels. Your little beads that have the adhesive on the back. It's really great for picking these up too. I love it. I use it for when I put elements on cards. So that is my arsenal of stuff I use. A bone folder. Snail adhesive. Piercing tool and a mat. Scissors, a stamp and trimmer that's got your uh, score and your cut, and then of course the blocks and the stamp and scrub. So I will post these, put these on the bottom of this video, and if it's something you know you're thinking about investing in, because you need this if you're going to make cards. So these are your basic necessities to cards. Or, you know, same thing for scrapbooking too. I stamp on my scrapbook pages, so I use it all the time. So thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great day. And uh, happy crafting!